Please, watch responsibly. between McGuire's Cardinals and the Montreal Expos. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a special edition of Baseball Saturday. I'm Kenny Albert with Ken Brett. Ken, as we entered Bush Stadium a couple of hours ago, a World Series-type atmosphere here in St. Louis. Yeah, here's two teams that are really not in a pennant race, but you're right. This is a World Series atmosphere. Why? Because of this famous home run race. Don't forget, Mark McGuire hits four home runs in four games to start the season. But by June, it's really not much of a race. He's leading Sosa 24 home runs to nine. Sosa has a vicious June with 20 home runs. We are going down to perhaps the last pitch, the last at bat. Sosa coming back from the 15 home run deficit in May. They both went deep last night, and they are tied at 66. Last night, of course, Sosa goes deep off his friend Jose Lima. He has given up three home runs. This, of course, taking place in Houston within one hour after hitting a foul ball home run. McGuire goes deep. They are tied, and it's going down to the end. And this afternoon, it will be Dustin Hermanson on the mound for the Montreal Expos against Mark McGuire. Let's check out how both McGuire and Sosa have done in their careers against the starting pitchers they will face the next two games. Not much of a story here between McGuire and Hermanson and, of course, somebody he hasn't faced in tomorrow's ball game. Sosa, I don't care who he's facing. He's getting good pitches. He's trying to win and get into the playoffs. Well, Fox Sports News correspondent Sam Marciano has covered the home run chase since McGuire hit number 55 back in late August. Sam joins us down on the field. Mark uh, Sam has said publicly over the last couple of weeks that he would love to finish tied with Sosa. Privately, is that how he feels? Well, you're not getting much from him in that department. So I think what you do is you go to the people who are closest to him, a guy like Tom Lampkin, one of his closest friends on the team. He says that if you go deep down, it probably means something to Mark, but for the most part, it doesn't. On the other hand, if you talk to Randy Johnson, who knows him since his days at USC, he says that he thinks that McGuire is being politically correct when he says that he hopes that he and Sammy Sosa end up tied. Sam, you've been covering this team for a long time. What do you personally bring away as perhaps one of the great experiences? Well, the first home run I saw was 56, and that was a lot of fun. That was the one where the fan went through the tarp down in Florida. And I think just seeing the fans' reaction to McGuire, how they follow him around, the mass of people that follow him around, and knowing that really he's just a very down-to-earth kind of guy who just wants to be treated like everybody else. But that's going to be pretty tough now. Thanks very much, Sam. Great job during the home run chase. McGuire, 66. Sosa 66. It's been a celebration of baseball during the 1998 regular season. The David Wells perfect game. Cal Ripken Jr.'s streak comes to an end. And of course, Sosa and McGuire. 